Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I am here to answer your question. You're in a dilemma. You're in the valley of decision. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Should I? Yes, no, maybe so. Well, for those of you who hesitate to give your hearts, your lives to God and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I understand why you hesitate. Took me years, but the reason is because everybody emphasizes the law, the do's and don'ts. Thou shalt not, and thou shalt not, and thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, and you better do this. And it's like, okay, golly, is there any wiggle room in this? And you start to see life as a straight jacket. Who wants to live a life like that? Well, let me tell you this. When you come to God, when you yield everything to him, that's the first work. You must do that first. Just come to him, ask him to forgive you for sins, give you a new start, fill you with his Holy Spirit, and let him know you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Now listen, this is how good God is. You don't have to understand it all. You don't even have to be totally convinced that all that's necessary just do it. Therein lies your key to the answers to your dilemmas. When you find yourself in a position where you cannot stop hating, where you cannot stop resenting, Where you can't find forgiveness, I don't care how far you look, forgiveness is nowhere on your agenda. And you have no interest in forgiving some of the people that have done some of the things to you that they did. Because it hurt too bad. It was unnecessary what they did. And they never once thought to apologize. Some may even be dead. Well, God is so fair that once you take the first step, just get that out the way. Got the key now. God is so fair that when you can't forgive, okay, Lord, you want me to forgive? Please give me the ability to forgive. Yes, he does. He gives you the ability supernatural ability to forgive some of those you know what <laughs> that did you know what to you you will find that some of the people that you have enjoyed hating you didn't really enjoy it but you know we lie to ourselves you enjoyed hating and you never intended to stop doing so but you know God says love, not hate. Okay, Lord. Here we go again. Would you please give me the ability? It's nowhere in here to love the one I really hate. Because I love hating that fool. But since you say to love and not love hating but to love, I need you to give me the ability to love or I'm going to keep on hating. Yeah. Well, guess what? God will do that. He will put a love in you you never had before. Ask me how I know. Hmm. If you are in a position in your life where you feel nothing but emptiness, you feel no sense of purpose, you feel this, this 
void and turmoil everywhere you go, no matter what you do, no matter what you drink, no matter what you smoke, no matter what you tote. You always have this void, two monkeys on your back, void and turmoil. And you can't get rid of it. Hmm. He will do it for you. Now, ask me how I know that. See, we have all these reasons why we don't want to come to God. But I am telling you, it is not a straitjacket experience. It is freedom like you have never known before. I'm going to stop there. I got more to say. Think on that. Pray on it. Do the first work. Ask God to forgive you for sin. Accept his son Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit and heal you. Heal. 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 In the name of Jesus.